Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all my students and my viewers. This is the channel Unconventional Learning, and we are here with our uh, new session, new series, which we will be doing, and that is English speaking lessons. Now you can see the board uh, behind me. Uh, yes, I could have taught in this board. The only reason I kept this board behind me was to show you all that it would be very convenient for me to teach you all here on this board itself. But there are a lot of YouTube videos where you can find there are uh, excellent teachers who are teaching uh, people who don't know how to speak proper English and they are teaching in a particular manner which is in itself great. So I just don't want to um, add another video which have similar kind of content, uh, you can say. Now today in this uh, video, we will uh, discuss about several areas where we have a lot of difficulties when it comes to English language. Yes, we also have difficulties in Hindi as well. But um, we are taking up this language English because a lot of times we face difficulties and we face hesitation when we are in our interviews or uh, now when a person goes to uh, an interview he or she in herself or in himself is already scared that um, the interviewer might ask questions which he might not know or she might not know but the other thing which um, tortures him or her or tortures the person is that will I be able to articulate articulate meaning will I be able to convey will I be able to um, present whatever thoughts I'm having in my mind in this manner now this is one of the major things which uh, most of the students and the youngsters are facing today so as I have got the feedback in the comment section of the previous video where uh, a lot of students have commented that they are having uh, vocabulary problems or they are having um, grammar problems or they are having a fluency problem or they are having they want to prepare for interview. Now um, before we begin today's class let us um, see uh, what these areas are and we shall discuss it one by one so i've made something which will be visible on the screen and you can take a look it will be here in um, just a second yes so i think you will get to see it right now on the screen in three two one all right so yes you can see that i have written english uh, do you have a problem in speaking yes we do we do have a problem because there are people who judge us there are my friends who make fun of me there might be friends who themselves don't know how to speak proper english but when you make a mistake they will leave no chance to um, humiliate you or belittle you there are teachers who kind of somewhere uh, insult the students when they go wrong in their uh, sentence formation and everything so this video is exactly for you all right so we come to fluency first and in fluency we see that a lot of students know how to speak but there are breakage in between they break the sentence a lot they have this difficulty where they don't know what to say next now this is because of you are having loss of words vocabulary because you don't know a proper word for um, the feeling which you are having there is a difficulty because you are finding difficulty in translating the whatever hindi thoughts you are having or regional language thoughts you're having in English language okay now this is also because you lack in communication skills because most of the time we speak in Hindi with our parents or our friends we don't speak in English it's high time we begin speaking talk to your Google assistant talk to Alexa talk to um, whoever is there uh, in your as an artificial intelligence if you have a phone because once you start talking to someone now why i have said google assistant or alexa or siri if you have an apple iphone i don't have so i have google assistant and i think she is enough for me uh, i mean in this matter now uh, so uh, why did i say this because you will not find any shame she will not judge you 
and it will be easy for you to understand you can ask her what is this called in english or what is this called in this and you can talk to her not in that manner where you develop any kind of emotions but you practice your english there are certain apps as well which we will have in our next video where we will take an app and we'll discuss uh, the translation part and the communication part everything uh, now fluency there's a problem also because you have a problem in sentence formation okay there there are moments where because we are living in a generation where we are talking in uh, very short sentences okay extremely uh, stunted sentences you can this stunted means short we just not even grow so it's getting shorter and shorter day by day okay for example somebody comes late to the class and instead of saying teacher i am sorry i am late to the class because there was a traffic jam and even if you don't say sorry you can say the full sentence but instead the student ends up in saying teacher traffic jam that's why late so this is what happens because we are uh, being uh, as in we are in this situation where we are growing in this manner where we are talking in uh in a similar way with our friends with our family members from uh anywhere else we are using chat we are using text messages and this is how we are conversing with people and that's why sentence formation is becoming um difficult and difficult day by day okay pronunciation now this part which we are seeing here pronunciation now this can um improve only when you have uh, a lot of communication skills okay because the more you communicate the more it will be beneficial yeah. for you okay. um, how how do we improve our english sabse pehle jo hum log ko dekhna hai wo hai translation now this forms an important part of our uh, everyday lifestyle everyday uh, work and everything why because if we want to say something for example you want to tell your teacher that um, i could not do my homework because my father was sick but you are having a problem so you will obviously have this sentence in your mind isn't it that father sick no homework so this is your short uh, sentence formation so no homework now always remember what you did okay what you did or what you didn't do will be first so your action will be first and then will be your reason all right always know this your action will be first and then will be your reason so homework is your action yahan par no homework hai because you did not you did not do your homework so you will say and who did not do his or her homework you you when you writing about yourself you will say i did not do my homework because now why because we are pointing at the reason so because my father was sick okay so from you can see in itself that from these two sentences my father father sick and no homework you have made this entire now, sentence a lot of students might have problem in saying that ma'am this thing which you have written here did not do now this is the part where we are facing problem which automatically comes in our what part grammar part make mistakes in this matter did not do grammar you will make mistakes man ke chalo tumhara galti hoga you will be making mistakes but but what you have to do you have to make a sentence but when you know that uh, someone is coming up and will share his or her experiences and meanwhile will produce a, a way where you can learn how to translate or what are the ways to improve your english speaking there you will not have this burden in your mind and you will come and learn automatically so this is something which is available for everyone no matter you are a you are an excellent english speaker and you speak flawlessly still this is the method which will help you 
because being indians we have this tendency of bringing hindi in our statements so if we have this in our mind that what is the action and what is the reason automatically obviously it will not happen at once you will take a lot of time you will take a lot of practice as well but ultimately you will improve and what is the hurry the world has been waiting for the past one year we can also wait and have patience and learn meanwhile so this is the thing which we did today the instagram page of this channel is mentioned in the description box so you can go and check it from there till the next video comes up i will be uh, making real videos of translation and i will also ask certain uh, questions from you all okay. so um, now one more thing you have seen a lot of people saying in this manner yes uh, i didn't go uh, ghar because uh, my father was uh, not well and uh, he scolded me for taking paisa from him now how did it sound ugly it sounded ugly but we still speak because majority are speaking around us saying those why did the person say two three hindi words his english is good or her english is good because mind did not translate those hindi words to english and this is the reason why translation is super important all right so i hope it this video was beneficial for you all i'm doing bit by bit i will come up with videos which will talk about all the things which i have discussed right um mention in the comment section what you liked what you disliked and uh, what are the feedbacks or what are the things you want me to discuss in the next video so thank you so much please subscribe to the channel um it's important because it motivates me to upload more and more videos for you all and also click the notification bell thank you